Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very happy to be a part of this Hong Kong Blockchain Society, and I'm very excited to have ch a chance to share with you guys what we have done in PolyU uh, on blockchain research. I'm Alan Au, and I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Computing of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Uh, so what we have done recently, uh, thanks Gavin, he has introduced a problem that, that I just solved, kind of. So he talked about uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if we take a closer look at these two most popular cryptocurrencies, we know that they are public network, so they are the so-called public blockchain. Everybody can see the contents. So if you do transactions over these blockchains, basically people can tell, okay, now somebody is transferring maybe 14 Bitcoin from this address to the other address. And while people say that uh, Bitcoin enjoy very good <coughs> privacy, the reason is that there is no link between the user's cyber address and their physical address. However, this link can be broken pretty easily. So for example, if I use Bitcoin to buy something from Amazon and ask them to ship the product to my home address, then that means people can see, okay, you pay Amazon and somebody ship, ship this product to me, so you can link my cyber address with my physical address. And that's why when people talk about using blockchain for other business applications, they may have some hesitations because everything is public and people would, would like to have their own uh, privacy for their transaction. So what we have done recently, uh, we know that there's a problem, so we try to solve it. And my major research area is on uh, applied crypto, especially on uh, privacy preservation. So what we have done is to develop a new way to do transaction in terms of uh, cryptocurrency so that both the sender's address, the receiver's address, and also the transaction amount are all hidden. So people can see that, okay, there is a transaction on the blockchain, but they cannot tell who is the sender, nor the receiver, nor the amount of the transaction. So in this way, we can break the linkage between the um, transactions, and transactions are totally unlinkable. And um, while this is an application on the uh, cryptocurrencies, we believe these kind of techniques can also be used to protect the privacy for other blockchain-based application. So if, if I have to set one take-home message, it will be, it is possible to hide information and maintain access control even on public blockchain. Uh, there are some other things that we are doing. For example, people say that our quantum computer may be coming. So now we are also trying to develop a version that is secure even against quantum computers. And then I'm also very happy to present to you another initiative in our uh, lab, which is to use blockchain for uh, charitable fundraising. And this is actually the idea originated from Peter. And I'm very happy to get some refinement from this idea and we feel that this would work. And basically the problem that we, we would like to solve is like this. We know that people from Hong Kong, the Hong Kongers, are very generous. So there is like, uh, we, we donate of um, around seven billion dollar per, per year from the from individual. And this is a big number, consider that uh, we don't get too much tax benefits in terms of donation. So it's rented around 20 in, both in the world. But there are many issues about these kind of uh, charities. Maybe there are some charities may not be, the, the operation is not so transparent. And also, sometimes the cost in the administration and also the fundraising cost could be high. And our vision is that the NGO could announce the projects that ask for donations. People can donate based on our system, which is blockchain based. Therefore, this is completely transparent and the cost could be bring down, uh, uh, bring down a lot. As you can see, the, the fundraising raising cost is quite high, take up a significant percentage of the overall money from the, from the UN. So we believe this can help reducing the cost and make the uh, project more transparent. Also, uh, in terms of uh, getting the receipts, we believe that uh, if the government can help us, we could use this blockchain to, to give tax benefit to the donor as well and also simplify the process. 
And that's fine. I, I definitely need, we definitely need your help, your input in making this initiative a success. So uh, if you have any ideas, uh, please, please feel free to contact me. And uh, this is my contact. Thank you.